Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS project se video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today I'm going to start a robot man manipulator from the scratch. In this video we will learn how to build a robot in a matter of minutes and we will use the robot in further episodes to do more complex stuff. But before anything else, remember to, re to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical courses about ROS using simulated robots. No installation required. You'll find a link to the academy on the video description. And now let's start. In order to show how to develop a robot from the scratch, I'm gonna use the ROS Development Studio provided by the construct. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free and use the system for free, just following this link here, sign up. As I have my account already, I'm just gonna do the sign in. And after having your account, in a matter of seconds, you will be able to see this screen here of the public projects. And you can also create a new one. And that's the kind I'm gonna use for this project. So let's start like, my robot manipulator video number one okay and anything here it doesn't matter the description as long as i remember what my project is about so let's open the project and wait a few seconds until the environment's ready okay great so let's start checking the kind of robot that we want to build so basically this is a robot manipulator and we're gonna have six links as you can see here in dark gray that's the base link so this part doesn't move and then we have link one that rotates around the axis z and then we have a rotational joint revolute joint i'm sorry uh, to bind link 1 to link 2 and the same between link 2 and 3 and 4 and finally the end effector we are rotating again around the z-axis okay so basically that's the project that you want to follow and here are the coordinate frame that we are using just to have a, a notion when we start describing our robot okay so let's start it and I'm going to start open the IDE and also a web shell and in order to use RDS to simulate a robot you have to start creating your simulation or in this case before the simulation even before the simulation we want to create our robot model so let's start working in the simulation workspace okay so simulation workspace catkin create package my package is gonna uh, let's call it my Robot manipulator description, and it depends only on URDF. Okay, uh, great. Then let's start creating a folder called URDF, and inside this folder, my robot manipulator Chakro, because we are going to use Chakro, which is a extension for URDF. Actually, this is XML macros, uh, but you can find further details on the URDF course of the Academy. Okay, uh, let's make it bigger. And this is an XML file. Let's put the test bigger. And let's start describing our robot. So basically, as I have just told you, this is an XML file. So we have to use this header XML and the version of XML. And finally, we are describing a robot, so we need this tag here, robot, and the name of the robot, my robot manipulator, and this is, we are going to use Chakra compiler or interpreter, something like this, so we have to use also this instruction here. Inside the robot, now we can start describing the links of the robot, so let's start by the base link, and I have here the robot created already in a separated file but I'm gonna just copy paste and explain line by line we are what we are doing here okay so we have the first link of the robot base link 
and I'm describing the visual part of the robot. Okay. Uh, in RDF, we have the visual, the collision part, and also the inertial part, the most important parts of a link in a URDF file. But for instance, we're not going to simulate yet this robot, so we just need the visual part. Okay. So for the base link, I'm describing it as a box. I think it's good enough to describe this part here. And these are the this is the, the origin of the box, so I'm putting at the origin of the world and the box size. So inside visual we have geometry and it's a box and the size one by one by one meter. That's the unit, okay? So the second part we are going to use a cylinder to describe it. Let's start, so we are calling it, despite that's the second link, I'm calling it link number one because the first link I'm calling base link and it's not movable. This is a fixed link. It's fixed to the ground. Okay. So we have the second link. I'm calling link one. Let's close the tag. And you, as you can see, this attribute here is very important. Please, uh, it's very easy to make confusion and maybe copy and paste and repeat the name. You're going to have an error in the URDF parser. Okay, so pay attention to this attribute here. And between the links, we have to add this joint, which is identified by this orange part in the draw. Uh, let's create the, the joint here. Uh, just one thing, uh, basically, the biggest difference here is that I'm using a cylinder instead of a box. So that's the, the change I have created here. And instead of size, we are using we are describing the cylinder by a radius and the length of the cylinder. Okay, and between them, let's put a joint. So we have, I'm calling it base link, which is the name of the first link, and link 01, which is the name of the second link, and I'm using two underscores between them. That's my way of describing a joint name. You can create your own, and it doesn't matter as far as you don't repeat this name and you remember this name if you need to refer the joint in further development of the robot. Okay, and I'm describing here that this joint is going to rotate around the z axis, okay, because we are rotating, that's the z axis, and we are going to rotate around it. This is what I try to represent using this joint like this. And the limit, I am just defining some of the full values that I have copied from elsewhere because we're not going to work with the dynamics of the robot yet in this first video. So it doesn't matter, for instance, the effort. The lower and upper values are uh, how much the robot can rotate around the z axis. So minus 108 degrees and 108 degrees and the maximum velocity of the rotation. Okay. Also doesn't matter because we are not going to work neither with the kinematics nor the dynamics of the robot. Okay. And the origin of the joint. I'm using here here uh, 0.5 because the robots start at the origin, zero. So the joint is going to be at the edge of this object, but the origin is right here. So we have one meter of height for this box, so we have to go half of a meter to the upside of the box. Okay, that's why I'm using just half of the height of the box. Great, then I have to, to define here the parent of the joint, which is the base link. As you can see, I'm selecting here, and you can check the name is the same name. This is very important, and also the child. Uh, has to have the same name as the link we are binding to the base link. Okay, so let's try to save our file and try to visualize it in Arvis. So in order to do that, we have to create a launch file. A launch file inside a, inside a launch folder. Let's create here Arvis launch. 
let's copy and paste this is an XML file and basically what are we doing here oops okay so we have we are defining a parameter remember if you don't have a quite uh, if you don't remember exactly what are, what are parameters or how d do they work visit the academy we have a complete course about ROS basics and you can find the concept of parameter there and you can find you can learn it in a couple of days okay so defining to the robot description parameter we're using the command find chakra chakra basically we, we are running ROS run chakra chakra this parameter is necessary for ROS kinetic and we're trying to find our chakra file inside the my robot manipulator description which is exactly the same package here URDF folder and my robot manipulator chakra file which is this one we have just created okay and then I'm combining joint values this is necessary just to have the the joint values and make them able to be visual, visualized using Arvis uh, in Arvis now we are launching the program and here I'm using this argument because I want to load my configuration file for instance we don't have a configuration file so let me remove it we are going to add it at the end of the video and finally to send joint values we are using joint state publisher we are going to see how to use it after we have Arvis running so let's get started let's launch it let's compile first the package just to generate the header files And there it is, raw spec profile and ROS launch, my robot manipulator description, Arvis launch in order to see and interact with Arvis. Let's open the graphical tools, put it to the right side and make it bigger. Login and there it is. Let's maximize this window. We have to define the fixed frame as the base link of the robot. Enter. And now we have to add, let's add here some, some elements to Arvis. The first one, the axis. I'm gonna configure it. That's a good length. Let's put like this. And now the robot model. So we can see our robot, there it is. Let's change the alpha property so we can see inside the robot to make sure that we are not putting some parts of the robot at the same position, the same place, okay? And links, expand everything and show the access. So now that we have Arvis running, let's save a configuration file because I don't want to reconfigure everything every time that I change my robot and get back to Arvis. Okay, so I'm gonna save config as I'm gonna put it inside my simulation workspace source folder, my robot manipulator, and the URDF folder. I'm gonna save it. I'm sorry, not URDF folder inside the launch file, and let's call it config.arvis okay so next time we launch it we're gonna have everything configured so let's test it and run the same launch file again but now loading our configuration file and there it is now we can see the robot and as I told you, we are using the joint state publisher to send values to the robot. As you can see, the first joint, the second joint, 
the I'm sorry, the second link, which is called link number one, is moving inside Arvis because I am I am setting the joint position right here. Okay, so that's it for today. In the description of the video, you find a complete course about URDF and all the resources mentioned in the video. Did you like the video? If you did, please give a give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you, bye!